this isn't really the road trip weather we had been hoping for. Hi, I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. And since our first trip together over a decade ago, we've taken every opportunity we can get to travel, explore new countries and try new food. In this video series we are flying to Italy for a two-week trip to eat lots of great food while also exploring Italy's countryside by car. Our plan for today was that we wanted to go to the beach and stay there, but then we found a viewpoint that is supposed to be very nice and that's where we are going to now. We have to be careful because this is a, a prime opportunity for me to land on my ass. the viewpoint and it is as amazing as everyone said in the Google reviews but it is really nice <sighs> what a nice view <laughs> is this your viewpoint outfit it's my viewpoint no it's my hiking outfit actually uh, yes all right back to the car back to the car back to the beach the way back is definitely more exhausting than the way down, who would have thought? But uh, all of that carbo loading that we did yesterday with the probably two to three kilos of pasta, I think it's paying off now. We made it back. Time for lunch. gnocchi with seafood and it's very black from the squid looking forward to eating one kilo of fried fish and vegetables three two one go Okay, okay, that was another test. Okay, I'm doing it bit by bit, okay? No. I have another technique. I'm almost in. <laughs> okay, that is pathetic. Lowering my shoulders. <laughs> lowering. I don't see any lowering going on. <laughs> So to make the most out of our last stay here in the marches, we're gonna have a little picnic. So we're now sitting at the last sunny table at our hotel. We may have gone a little bit overboard, <laughs> especially with the cheeses. Yeah, they did all look so good though. For dessert, we'll try the classic Italian cookies, pan di stelle. I'm getting some cocoa notes and biscuit notes. Very surprising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty basic chocolate cookie, a bit dry, and the main taste is cocoa not that much else. I would gladly enjoy this with some coffee. Run! The cookie police is here. <laughs> <laughs> we talk shit about their cookies. They taste a bit like Oreo. 
but maybe even better than Oreo. Like if they had the milk in the middle, and I think I saw those in the supermarket, they would that, be quite good. That would be a different game. Okay, now that I've had about 15 of these, actually not too bad. Just like these cookies, we should also now catch some stars and go to sleep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go to Macerata, home of the chicken liver lasagna. I love the name of the city. Macerata. Macerata. The weather, as you can maybe hear, is not very great. But we're very confident that it will clear up once we're there and then it will be sunshine as in the past few days. Yeah. And after our little visit in Macerata, we will continue to drive to our next stay, which is in Tuscany. So we're leaving the marches and we'll see what Tuscany has to offer. So this is Macerata and it's been described as Italy in a nutshell and we're gonna check it out now. And it's also got a very interesting speciality food wise which is called, and this is gonna be a terrible pronunciation, Vinci's Grassi which is a kind of lasagna, but it's not a lasagna, invented in the 1700s and it's made with the innards of a chicken, so like a chicken liver for example, and then also bechamel sauce with truffles and prosciutto and all kinds of things stuffed in. Sounds super interesting, so I think we've got to try that. What's your opinion on chicken liver lasagna? I don't think I'm gonna have one, maybe I'll eat a bite of yours. Alright, let's go then. <laughs> So here we have a little slice of Japan. They've got this shop basically that is only vending machines. I mean it's quite convenient. Also great atmosphere. You can eat here directly by the bins or here by this bin. It seems so empty everywhere. I don't know, maybe it's the weather, maybe it's COVID. So we found a cute little restaurant that serves this special macerata lasagna and it's called Osteria de Fiori. They've just served us these little cups filled with zucchini cream, I think, uh, as a little starter. So let's try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think there's bacon inside the dough and the zucchini cream is like a pesto, I'd say. Pretty good. So here it is. I'm really excited to try it. Very tasty. Tastes like a very tasty lasagna. Did you taste the chicken liver? Not really. There were some pieces in there, but they were quite nice. Um, it's very cheesy. Um, really nice bechamel sauce. The meat pieces have a nice texture which is slightly surprising, but good. <laughs> I'm going to be happy to finish this plate. <laughs> so I ordered another typical macerata dish, which is noodles, pasta, sorry, <laughs> pasta with fava beans and bacon tomato sauce. Mm. It's a very nice tomato sauce, it tastes really fresh. And I love beans, so it's a good dish for me. I thought the lasagna was really nice, even though it's officially not called a lasagna. The 
chicken liver and chicken heart is what the waiter told us was inside does add a really nice and rich flavor to the whole dish so I can definitely recommend it but now we're off to Tuscany Let's do a mini room tour. Here we have our bathroom. Looks nice. This is the living room where I guess we won't be spending that much time. The bedroom. We have a little working old telephone. We have a nice view of the pool which we will check out later. And then let me show you the best part. Terrace with a nice view of the nearby town which I don't know what it's called and also our car which is a very nice view. I'm looking very forward to having some wine here on the terrace. I think I'd place the table here and then just look out all the time, not talk, talk to each other but just look at the nature. The not talking to each other part is the That's best, right? That's the most important, yes. Yeah. Cool. Looking very forward to that. Okay. Hey, we're in Tuscany. In the evening, we took the most direct route into Montepulciano, which took our poor Fiat 500 over some pretty rough dirt roads. But the dinner completely made up for it. Rosso Rubino turned out to be one of our favorite restaurants on the trip serving extremely delicious Tuscan dishes and making us very excited for the next few days.